Got that in 15 tries. Alright, today we're going to talk about something a little serious. We're going to talk about decisions or more importantly, life choices. In this life, you have many opportunities to choose whether you choose A, B, sometimes C, D, D, but there's always an A or B that you probably always got to choose from. You don't know which one's the right decision. You don't know which one's the right choice. You don't know which one's the wrong choice. You don't know which one will probably benefit you in the long run but hurt you in the short run. You don't know what will benefit you in the short run but hurt you in the long run. That's why decisions are hard. Us humans, as we get older, we realize that you have more choices to choose from, more decisions that you decide. Anything, anything you decide will affect your life some way, shape, or whether it's like drinking a Coke as opposed to a Pepsi, or whether it's going to college or going to the army. Any decision you make will affect you in the long run or in the short run. As humans, we are built that basically we do not like to fail. We always want to choose the right decision. We want everything we do to be prosperous. We want to succeed in everything we do. And even though we understand a lot of times to succeed, we have to fail, we hate failing. It hurts inside, you just want to die a little bit every time you fail. Even though the fact's true, the more you fail, it makes you stronger. Sometimes the crap hurts. It, it hurts a lot that you just got to take a step back for like way longer than you expected because you got to like gather yourself up before you go out. All that is true, but be before you fail, you had an option between choosing between A and B. Because you failed, in your mind, you're thinking B was wrong, I should have chose A. Now, that time has passed, you think A would have been better, but that's not always true. Sometimes B would have probably been a bad decision, A probably would have been a bad decision, but since time has passed, you're thinking B no matter what's the wrong decision. So, if you can reverse time, would you choose A or would you still choose B? That's where decisions come in handy. Now, in the future, if those options come up again, you're probably going to choose A. Hopefully, you'll get a different result. If you get the same result, oops, life. So, when it comes to decisions, you really don't know the outcome of it until it's actually over. Until it's over, all you can do is hope that you made the right decision. But before making a decision, the reason that sometimes it's kind of difficult to make a decision is because the fear of the unknown. Humans, we are scared of the unknown. That is true. A lot of us are not scared of death. We are scared of the unknown of after death. Some of us believe reincarnation. Some of us believe in the afterlife. Some of us believe you just probably be dead and casket. Don't know. You got your religion. I would not disrespect you on your religion. But before you truly get to that, like this is how it is, there is a lot of people who have the fear of the unknown, and that is why the unknown is always going to be scary. Now, when it comes to actually making the other, like small decisions, you know, Pepsi, Coke, you think that probably won't affect you. It probably won't. You, you just don't know. You just don't know how simply choosing a coke and over a pepsi or a pepsi over coke can probably affect you in the long run when it comes to big decisions college to army again that can affect you in the long run there are so many people who actually believe that you really should go to college over the army because you feel like you dropped out that's not true there's plenty of people who went to the army and they're a very successful life got happy lives happy family they make enough money to support themselves there are plenty of people who went to college they ain't got a dime to their name probably why in college they probably made the wrong decisions but you just don't know just Weigh all your options, which is an obvious thing to say, but some people just don't understand. The reason I'm bringing this up right now is because me personally, a few of my friends, and actually some of my family members, we're actually going to have some big decisions that we got to make in life at this moment. Me, actually, have the opportunity to go to California. Still want to go, but I need to decide if I want to go this year or go next year. So that's actually a big decision. It's probably one of the biggest decisions I've probably had to make in like a while, so I'm really wrapping my brain around this. And why am I wrapping my brain around it? Because the fear of the unknown. I do want to go to California. That is not the hard decision. It's just like, when do I want to go? Do I want to go this year? Do I want to go next year? If I go next year, I know for sure I will save up enough money. I will probably be way more confident in going, but I feel like I'm probably going to miss an opportunity or like a full year length of time in California. If I go now, still got enough money to probably take care of myself a little bit. I'm probably going to be there with the family members so he, we can help each other out if we ever get into any situation. I'm thinking about this and I'm like, all right, this is my decision. Now I gotta like, you know, consult my friends and I'm here with my friends. They're going through some same stuff too. Somebody, that person's going to the army pretty soon and that person had to really like sit down and think about it and she's very confident in going. So I wish her literally all the best of luck in the army. Whew, that was like weighing my decision of just going to California as a her actually going to the army. Even though the weight's kind of different, we both had to actually sit down and actually think about if this is what we want to do. And her, she already made a decision. She's going to the army, good for her. Me, I still got some time to think about it, but I really need to make a decision pretty soon. I really gotta think about it. If I decide to stay in Florida, I gotta find another apartment. If I don't decide to stay in Florida and go to California, I gotta find a job. So you know, the options are there and it's freaking hard. I wonder how other people make life choices. Like honestly, I'm cool that we're humans and we actually have the free will to decide what we want. If I was born and everything was decided for me or what I would have to do, 
Guarantee I'll probably hate it. Guarantee I'll probably be the most miserable people in the world. You know, they'll probably make a movie about it. This person has a mind of his own. He's trying to go up against society. Like everything that this planet was built for, this person's trying to change the mold. I guarantee you, I'll probably be like one of those people. Just, I like the free will. I like the free will. But at the same time, if psychics or genies or whatever was real that could predict the future and tell you, what's up? Would I take advantage of it? Sometimes. I mean, I do like, you know, to take the risk. Dang, man, there are sometimes you just wish you knew. If I did plan A, what would happen? If I did plan B, what would happen? <laughs> it would be better, like sometimes. Just like this situation, it'll probably be way better. This will probably affect me in the long, long run. So I, I will I would like to know. You know, hey. Shout out. Hook a brother up. Like, let a brother know what's gonna happen in the future. If it was just simple as flipping a coin of like heads, go to California, tails, stay in Florida, I probably wouldn't be having this issue. But Heads, go to California. Now I gotta do this, call my cousin. Hey, I'm coming to California. It's not that simple. This is useless. Useless. Huh. Once you make your decision, in the long run, how do you know you made the right decision? There are people who made a decision, they probably got some money, probably got a family, probably got friends, all that stuff. And that's st they still regret not picking other decisions. How do you know when you made the right decision? And that's like the only thing. I, I guarantee you, whatever I decide, I probably won't regret. I just don't want to be like 10 years down the road thinking if I had chose option B, what would life be like? I don't want to really think like that. You know, it's fun to think like that, but I really don't want to be that hard thinking about it. If I'm really going to be like questioning myself, I might as well just flip the coin again. So even though this video is really about life choices or decisions, we really didn't talk about it. It's, this is like a hard subject for me to talk about because... I don't know. I just don't know. Like, I haven't really made a decision this big in my life yet. Everything else was simple. Go to school, go to college, good job. That wasn't a real life choice. That was more of a growing up, that was implanted in my brain, do that. Now that I'm actually out of school and, you know, got choices, I guess I'm freaking out a little bit. Hopefully in the near future, when I have a different background, I will be able to tell you, A, I'm still in Florida, or, hey, I'm in Cali. So until then, I might start using this bad boy a whole lot more. Good old Abe Lincoln. <laughs>